Let's talk about the five ways to grow businesses through any economic times. Hello, my name is Barry William Magliditi, and I'm the CEO and founder of The Game Changers, and we help our clients to triple their profits and double their time off in 12 months or less. And I wanna share with you today a tool that although we've been using this tool for years, it has no difference in the current times as it does a month ago or six months ago. Now, although I've never personally been through a pandemic or crisis like COVID-19 before, I have been through a number of recessions and they've taught me a number of things. And this tool is as relevant today as it is in the past. And I wanna share with you what, what it is, if you bear with me, and how you can use it in your business to thrive and actually grow through the other times. But you have to be willing to do something different than you've done before. Now, if we go back years ago and we look at uh, the old phone, the Philips Savvy or the Nokia 5110, how would you go selling those phones right now in 2020? Do you think anyone would be in the market to buy a Nokia 5110 or a Philips Savvy? Absolutely not, because technology has changed so much today that we can buy the latest iPhone that's got a ridiculous zoom on there or multiple cameras or functionality and apps and everything else. There's no way we'd buy that outdated old technology. And the same too is that that technology was perfect for a time. And so the first part of these five ways to grow I wanna to speak to you about uh, that we can influence is leads and acquisitions. So if we look at this as a funnel, the first is leads and acquisitions. If you've noticed that your lead source has significantly dried up, you've got to ask yourself the question, is my offer still relevant to the right market or is the market uh, still relevant to the right offer? Because right now, if leads have slowed down for you, that's an indication that the offer you're putting out to the marketplace is missing the match. Now, what that might mean is to update your messaging, uh, to speak more specifically to the story that's going on in people's minds right now. It might mean that you need to change the product or offer that you sell altogether. But the reality is if leads have slowed up right now, that's the first area, or that's a area of the bucket you can uh, work on. And the way we look at this is there's five buckets. And you go through and put these into a, a Google Docs, a spreadsheet, and uh, track where your numbers are at and work on where the biggest hole in the bucket is first. Now that might be leads for you, often for a lot of people it's not leads, but the second part of the bucket is your conversion rate. Is if you're still seeing leads come through, what's your conversion rate on those leads into jobs? And if you notice your conversion rate's dropped, maybe you need to up or change uh, the sales scripts or the sales process to work with the current uh, instability that's going on in the world right now. The third part is average sale is are you still selling the same uh, cart value, same product value as what you were in the past? Or has there been changes made around this? And how can you look to increase the average sale? Is there complementary products that you can offer your clients that you haven't currently offered them? Things like, for argument's sake, uh, hand sanitizer. I noticed a number of people that aren't even in the hand sanitizer business have been offering and selling hand sanitizer at a reduced rate, uh, which obviously increases average sale, but it also drives a bunch of traffic through your business, which means that potentially you can build a database for the longer term. The next part of this is lifetime value. Are you noticing that your clients or uh, your, your current clients are leaving you? Now, has that been because you've been too slow to react? You've not changed your, your offer, you've not changed your service or your product offering to deal with the current times? We've certainly helped a lot of our clients that have owned gyms, uh, basketball, training facilities, dance studios, to pivot their offerings online, which meant that these guys have actually maintained not only the lifetime value of their current clients for, for during this period of time, but when the, when the premises open back up, but they've also been able to now market a whole new product offering they've never had before to a new market and bring new business to the business. So they've gone from having a thriving business to overnight literally being shut down to opening back up again, new product, new marketplace, and gaining market share, which is gonna even further position them for a huge comeback once the market and economy kicks back in the next couple of months. And then lastly is profit is if we look at all these numbers, we've got leads, we've got conversion rates, we've got average sale, we've got lifetime value, profit. Is your product or service still profitable from a cost of sales perspective? We don't want to measure net profit here, but cost of sales. If not, what changes or tweaks do we need to make to your product, to your offering, to your price point, to negotiating your supplier, to, to ensure that we can bring about, maintain, or increase the gross profit margins from that perspective? Now, let's look at the funnel. Leads conversions, average sale, lifetime value, and profitability. If we get those things mapped out on a spreadsheet and we could look at the last months, two months worth of data, you can start to see where the biggest hole is and that's gonna give you an indication of where you should start focusing your energy and attention effort right now. You might have a product that's still viable to the marketplace, but you just need to tweak the way that you sell it or you just need to tweak uh, maybe additional 
services or products you offer with it, or you maybe need to go back to your suppliers and negotiate a better rate so you can you know, sell it to your market at a cheaper rate or the same rate and make more money. Whatever that is, this tool is still relevant right now, as relevant right now as it was a month ago or six months ago, and as relevant as it's going to be six months or 12 months from now. This tool will not change. The last part I want to add from that is that uh, Right now is a fantastic time to be generating leads if you've got the money to do it and if your lead generation is profitable. For us, we've seen uh, almost an 80% reduction in lead cost in the last two weeks alone, which means it's for normal, for normal time. Now, although we've noticed uh, a slight change in conversion rates of new clients coming on board, we've shifted our focus to building a longer term pipeline. So we're generating more leads than ever before, but we're pushing them into what we'd say the top of the funnel. We're nurturing through the middle of the funnel so that when the, the crisis, when this pandemic ends and moves over, we've got, a, we've got a full pipeline of cheaper leads. We've been nurturing for a long period of time with great phenomenal content that they can grow their businesses with. So on the upside of this, it's gonna be a huge opportunity for us. So my question to you is how can you actually use the current state right now, realizing that if you're waiting for, for things to return to normal, uh, you're probably gonna lose your business in the process because you're burying your head in the sand. Right now, the current economic uh, situation we're in is the new normal. And now more than ever is a time for you to be working on your business, to investing in yourself, investing in your business to make sure that you can not only survive these next few months, but come out the other side thriving, growing, profiting and, and, and succeeding because you've pivoted whatever area of that pipeline we've spoken about required to get the growth. So I trust this has been of value. Uh, if you're wanting any more information on this or uh, uh, got any questions, please feel free to comment below, like and share to someone that you might need uh, to see this most. God bless, wish you well through these challenging times and let's not just survive them, but let's thrive in them together. My name is Barry William Magaliddy. See you in front of the Game Changers. Look forward to seeing the next one. Bye for now.